What's up guys? So this past E3, they finally showed Cyberpunk 2077 and I haven't even talked about it like oh my god like it was going on I do apologize but th these past few months have been really really crazy uh, and I haven't been able to but but I do have a reaction to the trailer so here it is Thanks. And have a great no Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, hold me. <gasps> oh my god, it's Cyberpunk! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Yes! That's not- that's not it. My stream stopped. Oh my god, I'm gonna scream if it doesn't come back. No. Okay, there we go. CD Project Red. I thought it was an absolutely awesome trailer. I think the biggest news about Cy Cyberpunk 2077 is that it, it is a first person. A lot of people were like, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. I have a suspicion though. I've had a suspicion for a while and I even made a video and everything and I never put it out because I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it was a video where I talked about VR and how Cyberpunk really had so many things that made it seem like there was going to be a big VR presence in the game. If you have it, if you don't, then whatever. Since there's so much uh, technology and like Cyberpunk and like you go into the net and it just suits VR, I was like, there's gotta be some kind of VR aspect to this. But there are aspects that are third person, like cinematics and some of the vehicle driving. Right now they're only talking about cars and uh, motorcycles, but they did make a point to say that this game wasn't about uh, driving around. They really, really want you to explore the world on foot. There is full customization of your character, which is super cool. They said many times that this will be a CD Projekt Red experience. Uh, very focused on narrative, very focused on story, very focused on RPG. It has shooter aspects, but it's more of an RPG than anything else. And it makes sense because Cyberpunk, the pen and paper, was a huge RPG. They're focusing on three uh, classes, the Netrunner, the Techie, and the Solo. Depending on w how you make your character, that's how the, the the combat, the action is going to play out. The arena is where the, 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 the combat takes place, where the enemies are. There, it's not very linear. It's not just like the, pe the, the, the enemies are coming from in front of you and you're just shooting but it's, you could move around the, the, the area, so you could go from side to side. They said that the verticality of this game is so much bigger than The Witcher 3. They also want the game to feel brutal and lethal, like in The Witcher, where you, you are urged to, to prepare before a fight. Um, you don't have to, but you're urged to in order to, you know, have things go a little bit more your way, a little more planned. That's kind of the same deal with Cyberpunk. So a lot of these classes are very strategic, some more than, than the others. What is the Netrunner? What is the Techie? What is the Solo? What are, we, what are we expecting when it comes to these classes? So of course, me being me, I got you guys covered. At three, your parents bought you an old Apple IV GS with a radius 241 wall screen, and your life was changed. By fifth grade, you'd already mastered everything the school computer literacy lab could throw at you. You were already using C++ and Metalingua to crack into the district's mainframe and change your grades. 
as an electronic wraith, you are the ultimate hacker. EBM, ITT, Sony, Matsushita, Ford, you've tackled them all, buying, trading, and selling their deepest secrets at will. Sometimes you uncover important things, corporate treachery or deadly secrets. Every year the counter-intrusion programs get better, the artificial intelligence is smarter. Sooner or later, a faster program or programmer is going to catch up. Reach out with electronic fingers and stop your heart. The time's on your side, and until the rides run, you'll be there, bare-brained and head-first in the net. You were reborn with a gun in your hand. The flesh and blood hand, not the metallic weapon factory that covers most of your arm. Whether as a freelance guard and killer for hire or as one of the corporate cyber soldiers that enforce business deals and the company's black operations, you're one of the elite fighting machines of the cyberpunk world. As the battle damage piles up, you start to rely more and more upon hardware. Freelancing your lethal talents as killer, bodyguard, or enforcer to whoever can pay your very high fees. Sounds good? There's a price. A heavy one. You've lost so much of your original meat body that you're almost a machine. Your killing reflexes are so jacked up that you have to restrain yourself from going berserk at any moment. But that's the price of being the best. And you're willing to pay it because you're a solo. You can't leave anything alone. If it sits near you for more than five minutes, you've dissembled it and made it into something new. You make your living building, fixing and modifying, but for the serious money, you need to tackle the big jobs. Corporate espionage and counter espionage gear for big boys. Neat little gadgets like thermite bombs and the hunter killer robots for the occasional termination. Your cousin down the street is like you, but he's a med techie. You may be needing his services sooner than you think. So that's pretty much it. I've already done previous videos on cyberpunk where I give much more information. That's kind of why I didn't repeat myself in this video. But please let me know in the comments down below which of these three classes sounds more like your style or what you are most excited about. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.